Welcome to another video guys and today we're going to be talking about a forgotten defensive mechanic. Now people either don't know that this exists or perhaps they've forgotten about it because it's been a lot less appealing compared to determination for a very long time. But in the upcoming Crucible League a few things are changing. Firstly we're losing the passive tree armor mastery that provides mana reservation efficiency for determination and secondly Molten Shell is being nerfed in a way that makes it significantly weaker overall, but it's especially weaker for low armor characters. Now, the forgotten defensive mechanic we're talking about is, of course, Aspects of the Crab. This is a reservation skill that reserves 25% of your mana to provide a buff. The buff gains stacks of Crab Barrier, which can stack up to 10 stacks in total, and each stack provides 2% additional physical damage reduction. So at max stacks, it'll provide 20% additional physical damage reduction. Each stack is gained at a rate of half a second per stack, so it takes 5 seconds in total to gain max stacks. When you take a hit of physical damage, the additional physical damage reduction provided by the crab barrier stacks will help to mitigate some of that damage, and then all crab barriers will be lost. Now this may sound like a poor defensive mechanic, because once they're gone, you're then vulnerable. However, this is very, very powerful when combined with high amounts of evasion and capped spell suppression, as you would expect from a character on that side of the passive skill tree. This is because a lot of attacks deal physical damage or a combination of physical damage and elemental damage, and there aren't that many physical spells in the game. And whilst there's always the chance that you encounter several packs of mobs that deal a lot of physical damage with spells, this is quite uncommon. Now, it's not necessarily better than Determination in all cases, or even most cases, but because it reserves half of the mana of Determination, and because you're losing that Determination Reservation Efficiency Mastery, there's going to be a pretty different opportunity cost going on here compared to previous leagues. The extra mana that you've gained from taking Aspect of the Crab over Determination could be used offensively, or you could even reinvest it into another defensive skill, such as Arctic Armor, which is actually gaining a Val version of the skill this league, and that's potentially going to be quite strong as well. Now, Aspect of the Crab starts to get very strong when you begin to pair it with other sources of additional physical damage reduction, such as Endurance Charges or the Shield Suffix mod that you can find on Strength and Strength Hybrid Shields. The additional physical damage reduction is always going to be able to provide that amount of defense, rather than providing varied defense as armor would against hits. But it doesn't only apply to hits, and that's really important I think. This full physical damage reduction that you gain from Aspect of the Crab is going to be applying to Bleed and Corrupted Blood as well. If you hit a monster with the Corrupted Blood mod and you gain stacks of Corrupted Blood, because you didn't get hit, the physical damage reduction from the stacks is still going to be there and it's going to be working overtime to reduce that damage. Then there's Molten Shell. In Crucible, Molten Shell is being nerfed significantly. Instead of providing 20% of your armor up to a maximum of 10,000 life, it will now provide 10% of your armor up to a maximum of 5,000. This means that characters with low armor are going to get a significantly weaker shield. If you have 10,000 armor in Crucible, you'll only gain 1,000 life from Molten Shell. In the previous patch, you would have gained 2,000. This makes other guard skills significantly more competitive. Things like Immortal Call will be a lot more popular, I think, Steel Skin as well. And because Molten Shell is weaker, stacking armor, especially on builds that don't get a lot of increased armor from the tree, for example builds that are on the right side of the tree, is a weaker mechanic for defending against physical damage and it makes other options more appealing, things like Aspect of the Crab for example. Now, Aspect of the Crab is not a normal skill, it can't be acquired as a skill gem from vendors and things like that. It's a skill that needs to be beast crafted onto gear or acquired from unique equipment. This beast craft is unlocked by defeating Kraken first of the deep. This word is pronounced Kraken. This is the Irish word for skin. But how do you get to Kraken's cove to actually defeat the boss to obtain the beast craft? Well, you need to find a Krakic spider crab, which is a level 74 and higher red beast that can be found during Einhard missions. You can of course also purchase the beasts via trade in any trade league, or you can have another player actually beast craft onto your item for you. 
The Kraken First of the Deep boss also drops some unique items that can't be found elsewhere. These uniques are generally pretty underwhelming, but they interact directly with aspects of the crab, and there's a few of them that have decent mods. The body armor is pretty good, it actually provides the aspect of the crab skill, makes you immune to bleeding, and provides a ton of armor and life. But it's quite a big opportunity cost since it takes up your body armor slot. The boots, on the other hand, are actually pretty good. Kraken's tracks. They provide a lot of life, some resistance, good movement speed, and they provide two really good buffs that improve aspects of the crab. The first one makes it so you cannot be stunned when you have at least 10 crab barriers. In our case, that's the maximum amount of crab barriers. The second mod, however, makes this first mod even better, because every time you would lose all of your crab barriers, you instead only lose five. That means that you'll have to wait much less time to reach max stacks again, which means that you'll have higher uptime on the stun immunity, and you'll have more physical damage reduction available more often. Overall, Aspects of the Crab is a skill that shouldn't be overlooked in Crucible League. It's going to be very strong at mitigating physical damage, and it's been significantly buffed relatively compared to Determination due to these changes that we've mentioned, like the loss of the Mana Reservation Mastery and the change to Molten Shell. I think characters that are high evasion and low armor are going to benefit the most from this skill. They can use it with a combination of things like minimum endurance charges and physical damage reduction shield mods, as well as perhaps Immortal Call or Steel Skin. Thanks for watching. I'm Dreamcore, and as always, stay tuned and stay safe.